of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today is week two of Advent and be Monday. Our readings will be coming from Isaiah chapter 35 verse 1 to 10. Our responsorial psalm will come from Psalm 85. Response will be Isaiah 35 verse 1. 48. Our gospel message will come from Luke Gospel chapter 5, verse 17 to 26. The theme of our message today is your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. And that's why today in the gospel message, Jesus was teaching, and there were Pharisees and scribes who were with him in that teaching, who came from all the villages. And the power were told the power of healing was upon the Lord. And people were bringing sick people to him. And there was a man who was paralyzed. And some people were bringing him, but due to the crowd, they cannot reach Christ. So he decided to climb the roof of the building and remove some of the ties on the top of the roof and lure the man from that place, in, front, in the midst of every person, in front of at the foot of Jesus. And you know, looking at the faith of the world, looking at the man with paralysis and say, look, your sins are forgiven you. And the Pharisees and the scribes started questioning, who is he to forgive sin? It's blaspheming. It's only God who can forgive sin. And you don't know, perceive what they were saying and say, why, you, why do you think like that? Which one is easier for me to say? Your sins are forgiven you to rise and go. To show you that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. That is the problem many of us are having today. A priest cannot forgive sin. But Jesus is proving to them today as a priest that he has power to forgive sin on earth. And he told the man, rise, carry your bed and go home. And the man rose, carried what he was lying upon, and went to glorifying God. And the people were amazed. People started glorifying God, said, I have not seen something like this. And will feed with all, because he had done those things they didn't know about. And are part to forgive sin. And most of the problems we're having is because so we're in a state of sin. We separated ourselves from the grace of God. How our God said, this man in, who is paralyzed said, your sins are forgiven. That's the healing. You see, when you, are physical, when you are a person living on flesh, you won't know when spiritual things are said. When he said, your sins are forgiven you, they were looking for something. Then he said, the one they could understand. Man, rise, tell you, I carry and go home. And they started shouting, miracle. But when he did the spiritual healing, they didn't know. Prophet Isaiah prophesies the power of the healing of God, did say. And when God comes into our being, when God comes into us, he will bring our healing. The wilderness and dry land should be glad. The desert shall be glad and blossom like lily. He shall blossom abundantly. And rejoice with joy, singing. You see, those things that are rejected will not be accepted. Those things that are fruitless will not be fruitful. That's the essence of God in our midst. Because the seed that separated us from these blessings. He said, Rejoice with joy and sing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it. The majesty of Camel and the Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our Lord. They will, you see, when you are in him, you see this glory of God. 
He will strengthen the weak hand. Make them the feeble knees. Say to those who are fearful of heart, fearful of heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. He will come with the recompense of God. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. And the ear of the deaf will open. They shall the lame leap like deers. And the tongue of the mood will sing the praises of God. The water shall grow forth in the wilderness. You shall soon come in the wilderness. And the streams in desert. The burning sun shall be a pool. The hunt of the jackals shall become a swamp. And the highways shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall be made clean. Fools will not err in the place anymore. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come up on it. They will not be found there anymore. But the redeemed of God shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return. Come to Zion with, with singing everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They will obtain joy and gladness. And sorrow and sign shall flee away when our sins are forgiven. When our sins are forgiven, sorrows and sign will disappear. All those hearts will go away. Evil will disappear in our lives. And now what the Sammy who understood the power of this sin be forgiven, they say, oh God, oh God will come and save us. Save us from our iniquities. Save us from our ignorance. Save us from our selfishness. May God give us the grace to ask God to forgive our sins and save us. We ask through Christ our Lord. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the forgiveness of our sins. May the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.